gonna add a fried tofu inside a cauliflower fried rice. So I need to squeeze the moisture out of tofu. Otherwise, the oil will splash all over it. Put a paper towel on a tray and place a the tofu. Then cover them with another layer of paper towel. To press them, I'll put a cutting board and three heavy dishes on top. I'll leave this for 30 minutes. When time's up, let's remove the cutting board and dishes and see what happens. The paper towel is completely soaked with water, and tofu has decreased significantly. It becomes hard as well. I'm not gonna use all of them, but only half of them. Then cut them into a bite. It is not easy for me to cut tofu because it is stiffer than before. Now, I'm gonna cut them with a cornstarch before frying them inside an oil. Put a sliced tofu inside a plastic bag and add a cornstarch, salt and pepper. If you don't have a cornstarch at your home, you can just use a potato starch or sweet potato starch instead. Bundle them up using a hand and shake them for several minutes. I think this is the easiest way to cut tofu with a cornstarch. I think this is also the most fun part of making fried tofu. See how much they are evenly coated. Pour quarter cups of oil in a pan and put a tofu on it. Fry this for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Flip it to the other side and fry this for another 2 minutes and 30 seconds. While we are waiting for our tofu to be done, why don't you subscribe my channel? You'll get more interesting recipe ideas every week. Place them on a paper towel to remove excess oil of tofu. So tofu is ready, let's move on to the veggies. Dip cauliflower into water. I'll leave this for 30 minutes so that all the impurities inside the cauliflower will be gone. Afterwards, take them out from the water and slice them so that they are small enough to get into a blender. Put them into food processor to make them chopped like a rice. My blender is so convenient because I can only turn the handles. Pour 2 spoons of oil in a pan and put a bell pepper. I'm gonna use both the red one and orange one. I just want to make it look more colorful. Stir them all together for 3 minutes and the smells of bell pepper would come up. And then add cauliflower rice that we have made before. Stir this for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. It may seem like I put too much cauliflower, but it will be reduced significantly. Then it is time to add a tofu and soy sauce. Put a fried tofu and make a space for a soy sauce. Pour a soy sauce at the bottom of wok and let them scorch a little bit. This is going to add a special flavor to a cauliflower fried rice. Stir them up for 2 minutes and put a sliced spring onion inside. Stir them all together for 1 more minute and place them on a dish. It surely tastes like a real rice and tofu tastes like a meat as well. It is perfect cuisine for a low-carb diet. Hope you try this at home and share this with your family and friends. Tag me in your Instagram if you are to make my recipe and upload your pictures. So see you in the next video. Bye bye!